Hello, everybody. Thank you all so much for tuning in to Gersom and David Do Homework. <laughs> We're back. We're back on the air. Yeah, oh, yeah. baby. We've decided to uh, adopt a stronger brand. Yeah. yeah. Is a guy that has more cameras and more microphones than we do. Just generally a better setup in every and way you, possible. <laughs> you have a, a, a means of recording. And sure. And honestly, that's... Like, I came in here and I said there's levels to this shit. Right, and right, right. came right. in here and I said there's levels to this shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is what happens when you do something for four years. Right. And you get bored and you're like, we got to add, we got to keep adding shit. Stuff, yeah, yeah. Keep adding shit. Are you going to go like the Howard Stern route and just have like a little person like fucking something in the background? He's he. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> yeah. Jingles. Jingle. I don't know. <laughs> We're Get in here. here. No, <laughs> take it to the top. <laughs> this is Smoking Simeon episode 538. Mm-hmm. Is, it, is it really? And we're smoking on that shit that made Howard Stern. You know what I'm talking about? We're smoking on that shit that made David Cross. Ooh. And Bob Odenkirk. Oh, shit. It made David Lynch oh. himself. It made David Burns. <laughs> 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 David Lynch. That's probably not a good one because lynching is very specific. <laughs> yeah. Smoking on that shit. That I don't. Made I Meryl don't. Lynch. There we go. Smoking we go. on that shit that made Marshawn Lynch. Yeah. All this shit we're smoking on has the same effect on different people. It's wow. weird. Isn't Marshawn. That is weird. Marshawn, Marshawn Lynch. Lynch. Beast yeah. Mode. The man. Sure. The goddamn yeah. man. One of the baddest motherfuckers ever. I'm just here because I don't want to get fined. <laughs> <laughs> what a great response. Yeah, yeah. Every, to everything. I'm just, yeah, like, I'm yeah. just here. Also. That's me at when my mom takes me to Easter Mass. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just like, I'm here so I don't get fined. That's what I'm going to say to my wife when she's giving birth. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> Um, my friends at a wake. You're you're already committed right to being now. a deadbeat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just serious. So I don't give fun. He's at a wake right now. His girlfriend was texting him because he was like, "Yeah, I can't do tomorrow. I gotta for whatever." She's you know. Anyways, she's like, "Why aren't you taking me?" And he's like, "This is to a wake." I'm going so I don't get fined. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think you're gonna have fun at a wake? Oh, yeah. like great aunt. That just yells anxiety. Like anxiety, like anxious attachment. Yeah, uh, but listen, <laughs> we're riffing here. Uh, and also, I had that conversation with him in an intimate setting that oh. won't be uploaded to the internet. <sighs> to, I'm this not, is the intimate setting where I spent almost fucking seven dollars on a nice coffee. They don't have oh. Wi-Fi on my computer. What the fuck is that? Where? Where was it? I, uh, name forget. them. Name them. It's somewhere in <laughs> Cobble Hill. But you guys know about Cobble Hill. Yeah, yeah it's, it's uh, just one hill. By Jews. It's, uh, I call it Cabal Hill. Ooh. What do we think about that one? That's nice. Huh? Cabal. Yeah. Uh, I have a very uh, specific situation here in this apartment. I have black it? landlords. Hell yeah, dude. And I'm in. We're in Brooklyn. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know they had black Jews. <laughs> <laughs> black Israel. No, I knew they had black Jews. But I didn't think they had yeah. Ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, they, 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 fucking. They're a staple in this community. We see them all over the yeah. place. They got a barber shop, of course. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mavis yeah. yeah. All right. Fuba. She's black. Who? Mavis Staples. Who's that? I don't know. She's black. Vince wow. Staples. Uh, <laughs> also, Vince Staples. Love him. Vince. Fucking. I was listening to Big Fish Theory on the way here. And Staples, the store, the complete opposite of black. People. That's right. Not really a tenant of the community. A lot of loose whites. Yes. <laughs> They're about their paper, so they have that in common. Right, right. They're about their paper. They're, uh, 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 someone improv with me. Help me out. What else does Staples have in common with black people? Go. Uh, b- uh, uh um, <laughs> printers that don't work. Well, that's a thing, everyone. That's not exclusive to black communities. Printers that don't work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's a super specific oh, they stereotype. That, they have that in-house brand of printers called Brother. Is that a real thing? Yes. Yeah, you've yeah, seen yeah, Brother. Seen brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funk Come Soul on, Brother? Yeah. Bear with me on this one. That was a pretty good poll given a very narrow prompt. I like how you dug your own hole and you're like, yeah, how do I get that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. no, we're, we're trying. We're trying to dig up. This is, a, this is a construction crew in New York where you're digging the hole and we're looking at you. Speaking of yeah. which, plug one, plug one on the podcast real quick. Yeah. I'm going to start at Three's Brewing Little Cafe Zone. Right. Uh, and I might have mentioned this. Uh, writer's workshop situation, because there's too many mics. Gay. We burn material oh, too fucking fast. We burn material so Jesus, much. What came out there? What was uh, that? We got indigestion. We clearly don't know how to behave around other people. So I'm <laughs> together. Help socialize each other. And if you got something, you reach up and you're like, uh, ding, ding, ding. You just ding your glass. You're like. 
is this anything? And it's a kind of a is this anything type space. Is, mm. this, anything, is this anything writing space? Is this anything writing space? You could call it that. It, is this anything? Or the bit factory. Or Ooh. a better name if you come up with it. Or just so it's like a writing settlement for comic. Uh, no, it's more like a, a co-working space. Uh, okay. I don't have any fucking qualifications. A punch powwow. A punch powwow. Punch powwow. Punch powwow is fun. Yeah, that is a punch powwow. Punch powwow is That's good. Fun. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Hey. All that being said, I will never be there. Really? <laughs> so it goes. A comedy kiki. I'm what, too cool, man. What I'm too I cool. What would I do to get you to a writer's room? What would you look for in a Well, first of all, you have to teach him how to write because he's illiterate. Yes, <laughs> exactly. You know, Antonio is not. I usually use <laughs> finger paint when I come up with my bits. <laughs> <laughs> Just like different strokes for different jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On you my wall. Your, you open your joke notebook and like macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Oh, that's my big, I love you, Dad. <laughs> that's my closer. I'm gonna talk about my estrangement. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to drug me. I think you'd have to. Uh... Luckily, it's at a brewery. They have drugs there. Oh, a brewery. It's yeah. at a brewery. It's a Three's Brewing. They got good beers there. Have you ever had any good beer at Three's Brewing, Billy? I'm looping you in because <laughs> never the moment. Never been. You've never been. They have their beers available for purchase also at retail locations brewery. and other bars. What are you selling here? Uh, I want people to He's hang selling out with hope. Me. <laughs> Duh. That's why I got into comedy was because I wanted people to, to hang out with me. Yes. And to have like a reason to do it because my presence wasn't enough. Right. That's not true. That's understandable. Do I identify with this or not? <laughs> not entirely. But okay. but that's why stand I started up. Telling jokes in the first fucking place. Oh, the to origin. Yeah, the origin. Presence instead of the, the origin. The origin of comedy is like you know communal. Yeah, you know, that's definitely true. Well, it's not just communal, but within yourself. Right, There's a part right. Part of yourself that's like, I'm not enough unless I give right. something. Make people laugh. Yeah. I, Talking to the microphone. I'm pretty close <laughs> to it. <I'm> pretty <laughs> <laughs> How are my levels? Are they not good enough? I might never be good it. enough. Just keep it with you. Keep All it. right. Uh, yeah. I'm on top of it. Yeah. There you go. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll say this. I was having this conversation uh, yesterday. <laughs> the video off. <laughs> I was having this conversation yesterday. Uh, uh, as beneficial as it is to talk to comedians about comedy, yeah, I get tired of it. I'd rather talk about other shit. Okay, true. Yeah, yeah. 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 just in terms of why I'm putting together a comedy centric. Yeah, day. sure. And the plug sure. is over. Uh, it's going to be a <laughs> three yeah. All right, back to you. No, that's all I was. It's like was, overcooking it sometimes. Sometimes I feel like we're. It's a little too like. It's, a it's too, too much. much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, talk I think every once in a while, like once a week, is nice. Just to like, but it, re- like, there's a difference between like just talking in the theory of comedy and just like actually hashing out a joke. You know what I mean? Like, mm. I feel like people are a lot of comedians are sensitive to like actually like kind of like write it down. Or I, I guess what I'm trying to say, like the nitty gritty of a joke structure, people get a little guarded on. I've noticed they're like. I don't really want to talk like that. I don't want to fix. I want to figure it out myself kind of thing. You oh, know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, like, I respect. I don't, you know, but it's just something that I've noticed, especially, I guess, amongst our ranks, you know? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's it's like uh, you ever hang out with a coworker outside of work and all they want to talk about is work. I would fucking hang myself, though. I <laughs> hate that shit. Like, Deborah's a bitch. He's like, well, yeah, we know. We've we established know. this for months. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, it was a bad idea. Oh, <laughs> it's canceled. No, 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 do it. Do it. I think, do it. No, we need the, workshops. The, you the, spent 15 the minutes is, plugging it. it. You got to do it. I only write by myself. I only write by myself. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. that's all I ever do. And yet I find myself coming up with better bits and getting tags from other people yeah, in yeah. shared right. spaces. But that's always just a hang before or after a mic when you're all like, I'm not good I enough to just go straight back in. I feel like if we're going to write a script at some point for a sketch, yeah. skit, anything like that. Right. Or even a show, whatever. If that's going to happen, you can't. One man it and sure. it be perfect. Yeah, yeah. You I, there's it. a communal factor to like oh. bouncing off of people in comedy oh. that's like hard to replicate when you're alone. And then I I agree with like when even if you just bring up a topic with your friends that are funny, they're like people will just give you different bits and it's it's it's, adv- it's advantageous to everyone. Like because you're laughing, it's basically a writer's room, you know. Like yeah, that's how they get most of their jokes, you know. So uh, what I'm trying to make is actually. A writer's room. Yeah. Yes. That said, I, if it's not a good idea, I'll just go fucking <laughs> just, just kill myself. Uh, don't be more gay. More importantly, I biked here, and I'm sweaty as shit. Me too. So, so that awesome. sweat has now crystallized into little water droplets that are fleeing my body with insane amounts of coldness. Because mm. this thing is trained right on me. I'm not sure if you could angle it away. Yeah. The angle it towards me. No, I'm it's not. a fun bike ride. 
Uh, gradually, the roads get worse as the neighborhoods get poorer. But yeah, Brooklyn. The, I wonder what the, that's about. The, <laughs> <laughs> wonder what's going there. Someone wants to talk to the mayor. <laughs> the bike riding in Brooklyn is horrifying, mainly because the the road. They don't give a fuck about Brooklyn. It seems like as far as the roads go, like yeah, the bike lanes themselves, or they, like the the, the everything. Everything like the roads are just dogged, yeah. all, and I'm from Rhode Island. Rhode Island historically has the worst roads in the country. Why? Year over year, because it's a fucking state full of crooks. Uh-huh. Mm. It's a state full of crooks, and uh, they make a lot of money it's on like insurance. The, it's like the crooks that couldn't make it to Florida go to Rhode Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they retire in Florida. That's uh, the thing. So that's the ultimate goal. Every person in Rhode Island stays there and retires in Florida. That's that's. What's like, like the, the main demographic of Rhode Island? It's just Italians, Irish. I would say mostly Italians, dude. Yeah, it's, it's like one of those. They got their Portuguese now too. They're Brazilians. Portuguese is huge over there. Yeah, That's yeah, why yeah. when I come here and I tell people I'm Portuguese, they're like, "What the fuck is that?" Because yeah. <laughs> they're like Fall River is like almost is Rhode it? I- it's almost Rhode Island. It's almost Rhode mm-hmm. Island, and yeah. Fall River is as blight as you get in New England. Almost not counting New Hampshire, which is its own sort of brand of sad and poor. Uh, yeah, Fall River is a. a, a horrible it's sad. Place. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's yeah, really. Yeah. Uh, you go yeah. there any day, it's gray. Any, you could be in nice. right over the border in the town next to it, and it's a nice day. But as soon as you go into Fall River, it's uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like when Zelda uh, washes up on that island in Wind Waker, and it becomes eternal rainy night. You guys know you you fuck with Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker. I never played it. Pretty good pull, right, Billy? Uh, That's what he's here know. for. Oh, Thank yeah. you, as well as like doing the hard job. The nerd, yeah. nerd Making affirmations this come out tomorrow, which is incredible. <laughs> I've never played Zelda. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is already a conversation you've had on this podcast. It We're going to move on. Wow. Uh, oh. Have you ever played Mario? <laughs> Let's keep it fresh. That's my uncle, actually. That home. game was made after my uncle. Mario the Plumber? Mario the Plumber. Does he also say the N word? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Born no, in Japan. Mario, uh, <laughs> Mario, no racism. No. <laughs> More racism. The black community has had it hard enough. <laughs> His brother is just an instigator. Be Lu- more racist, Mario. Luigi. Yeah. <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> He's actually way more of a demon. They've been here for so long. They, they, they haven't done anything. It was just like, whoa, okay, what's going on? Like, <laughs> How come we are working so much? Yeah, that's like a thing I've noticed with like black people that are like black immigrants a lot of the time. They like kind of shit on black Americans. You know, just, oh, yeah. yeah. That's a big thing. Yeah, yeah I yeah, noticed yeah. that with a lot of like the Dominican community. I'm like, but like you also come from like a, it, why is it an excuse for you guys when wherever like whatever black community you're coming from but you see the obviously like the structural problems in your own home country towards black people but you don't see that here it's just like i don't that seems I don't know, it's annoying to me real quick uh mm. mario says something racist and a dominican guy tells luigi hey yo luigi come get your man's son luigi's mansion uh, something all right well i just wanted to kind of like <laughs> get back into bits so more fun than that is what happens on that bike ride on the shitty city bike from yes. where I'm coming from, Park Slope, to undisclosed location, um, which is the asses get fatter the closer you get. wonder what that's about. To here. Now, you think this is a race thing. I know Gerson's mind goes straight to, well, that just means there are more black people. Yeah, yeah. But counterpoint, holding race as a variable right. equal the asses get fatter. The asses yeah. of every particular brand of people. I'm not going to really? name all of, them. all of them. Well, at a certain point, you stop seeing white people entirely. Right, right. right. No, that's not really true. Um, not in bed style. <laughs> but even like <laughs> you get down here and like not only are the dogs that they're walking meaner, but the asses are fatter. The dogs across have fat asses all. Too, so. <laughs> mm, yeah. Get into it. Big dog shits all think, over the place. I think the the more amount of dog nuts you see in a neighborhood, the harder the neighborhood is to live in. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah, like yeah. a you know, that's fucked up. Getting rid of your dog's nuts. You think so? I don't have a dog, and I've never had a dog. They're kind of intense without dog. You know, they're like a lot. Yeah, you know I mean? but what about you know? We had the Certain cutest. We had the neuter. cutest cat. Yeah. He was so like cute, pitbulls. and we didn't get rid of his nuts, and he left to find pussy, and he never came back. <sighs> your cat's dementia. That does happen. <laughs> <laughs> what cat's slaying out there, bro? Gerson, what you have to understand is that at its at their core, every mammal, all humans, uh, and every per, every person and every mammal is Dominican. That's funny. 
because all it it's takes to unlock that <laughs> literally the genes. This is one of the most diverse. It's one of the most diverse <laughs> good, islands in genes. the world in terms of where like, like the genetic algorithm yeah, comes from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people go to the Dominican Republic and become Dominican. Yeah. Happened to me after a fucking week there. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, slinging my platano around, yeah. fucking mofongoing. I was watching it was this, great. I was watching this video about like the ethnic breakdowns in Latin America, and it's like very regional in every country. It's basically like all the port cities tend to be a little more African. All the mountain areas tend to be a little more indigenous. Just like it's very broad brushstrokes to Latin America. But there's this word in uh, Brazil. It's called pardo, which means you're like triracial, which means like indigenous, African, and European, right? Mm. Which is technically what I am. And they showed an <laughs> they showed an image of a guy that's tr triracial, and I could have been my brother. Yeah. I was just like, what the fuck, dude? Right. Like he was like a famous soccer player. Like I was just like, yo, <laughs> what the fuck is happening in Brazil? I guess it's my mix, essentially. But this guy, this guy, uh, triracial. I think he succeeded. Yes, he did, sure. folks. Try. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's funny when you go back to like where you're from or areas where your family's from or whatever, right. and you're like. We all kind of look like each other. Yeah, I don't look like any of my family members. My yeah. mom is, my mom well, is, I meant like the uh, people walking around. Uh, yeah, what's interesting yeah. is that for me, when I do that, it doesn't work. But then when I go to Poland, it does work. What's yeah. going on there? Am I not indigenous to Israel? Yeah. What's I like deal? how I got flack for making it racial earlier. <laughs> <laughs> no flack. We're just riffing. We're riffing. Well, Speaking of flack, though. It's because uh, it's it's Poland. Internal it's injuries caused by flack are uh, ripping apart the people of Palestine. I I and I find it to be a tragedy. I don't Anyways, you, moving along. I don't know if you know this, but Poland's actually in the Middle East. Uh, well, <laughs> it, it's pretty close. Yeah. I feel like if you asked a Polish cartographer that, they might get that result. Like, right, 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 right. You know, you yeah. guys know how the polls work. <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta go to them and and write a name down. That's right. And and. Well, I've never voted, so I don't know. You, don't write <laughs> you you do bubbles, right? It's not a name. You, you don't, don't write, write anything. Yeah. You don't you, write anything. You can do it's write in. Yeah. It's, oh, it's, well, a write in. Yeah, sure. yeah. But yeah, that's yeah. like. I'm about to not vote for one of my first times. Really? I'm really excited. Because yeah. I was it's voting fine. since I was four. What does that mean? I was, I've been voting since I was four. When I was for four like years old. In school? I was four <laughs> years old in Arizona. I voted for Al Gore to win the presidency, and I was the only kid in my public school in Arizona that voted for Al Gore. Because wait, it's but red. what does that mean? What do you mean by that? How oh. can you vote? <laughs> Are you committing voter, I voter in fraud? Class? Yeah. In class, they're oh, like, he "We're gonna do a vote." He just wanted it bad. He didn't vote. Yeah. Well, yeah. In, in my head, they were taking our opinions into. Uh, account and maybe they would apply some multiplier to it like a point one mm. and then they would make it a real vote vote like one mm. of my votes was worth a tenth so a voting fraud adult. is what it was well yeah. that's what i hoped yeah. but instead uh george bush won and he and did 9 11 oh yeah yeah a tenth. he right. did great at it he did a great job at he 9 11 yeah a knocked tenth. it not three out fifths. of the park <laughs> not three fifths and you know right. what the tower they have now bigger shinier yeah more of an affront uh, to you, the poor of the how, world, dude. There is like an yes. over under with our conversations. How do we always get to nine eleven? Like it's crazy to me. Like, like all all, all <laughs> roads lead to nine eleven. All roads, <laughs> sure. All roads, uh, islands. Hey, oh, <laughs> island boys. This is gonna all be planes lead to nine eleven. At this point, at <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice. Hey, Fuck yeah. come although on, they man. left Logan Airport in Boston, Massachusetts, Boston. so that's. My claim to fame, yeah, uh, is I had nothing to do with that either because I was yeah. six. Right. Do you guys remember? Did vote for Al Gore? Did not commit 9/11. Let's just all put this. Who uh, didn't? Did not oh, commit. Yes. Didn't. Voted for Al Gore though. No, right. I yeah. did. Yeah. What's the song about Tipper Gore? There's like a song about her. <laughs> oh, no. I think it's uh, maybe it's a Tool song. Tool song. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, it's Danzig. Mother, tell your children not to walk my way. You guys know that song? Oh, is no. it because she was anti? She was anti like explicit music. Pre yeah, probably that was her along thing. those lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, this about, it about her. So lame to be. What a lame campaign. You mean to be like, yeah. hey, the, it's the music. It's the music. Yeah. Dude. Back forget the day, what we're doing. We, ba back well, our version of that fresh. was video games. Yeah, people were like, it's the video games. It's yeah. Like, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Back when it would have been fresh, did anyone did anyone say cow tipper? Cow tipper. Yeah, because... Yeah, 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 yeah. And Anyways, it's funny. That, that would, would be have ironic. Been a misogynistic remark, and I would have denounced it, but I was five. Well... So it's kind of... It would also have been ironic, considering... Voter for Al Gore did not come in 9-11. Is a misogynist. <laughs> 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 this guy's endearing. Just because I come up with the bits doesn't mean I stand behind No, me. no, no. I'm yeah. saying this is you when you were a kid. Now oh. you've obviously reformed yourself in many uh, ways. Right. Uh, Ages, but <laughs> four to six... 
He was already listening to Joe Rogan. Do you know the term misogynoir? <laughs> that sounds nice. Misogynoir. That sounds like a wine. So noir, That's black, like wife, yeah. right? Terroir. Noir <laughs> means black. Misogyn means misogynist. Misogynoir is specifically misogynistic against black women. I don't feel that way. Tori you're, like, you're like the complete I opposite. Do, <laughs> I do hate the person who came up with that word because it's really hard to say. That's a good word. No, it's Misogynoir. not. Misogynoir. Misogyn- <sighs> Misogynoir. Your, your, your cheeks get exhausted by the time I'm done saying well, Misogynoir. Your cheeks will get exhausted by the end of this, buddy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, Wait till we put on uh, what's the song by Genuine Pony or whatever. Pony? <laughs> Wait till we put that. You're on. gonna make us dance <laughs> the pony. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, fucking what was it? Judas Judas Priest back in the day. They yeah. uh, they went after him because a couple kids killed themselves because of the music. Like it's the music. Yeah. It's the bad music. Yeah, it's, it's like, weird. and it's not a fail like thing to the parents there or anything, or like you know fail on mental health or anything. It's right. the music. Right. <laughs> it's not the downtrodden communities right, or like, that you oh, guys do nothing about. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Like <laughs> no money or effort into the, any communities or people at all. Yeah, it's it's the music. a guy dressed like a lady singing about the devil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Back to the shirt, Highway to Hell. Yeah, dude. I was in L Train Vintage today, and they were blasting Highway to Hell. That's where I got this and shirt. I was thinking. How about this? Uh, I'm just a guy who's gay as hell. <laughs> just a guy gay as hell. What do we think about that? Guy it's gay not that far as hell. Off. Rock stars. I'm not gonna are... stop till the four bars are over. <laughs> just a guy who's gay as hell. I think it would sound really good with the guitar behind it. But yeah, it, there's a guitar behind you right now as well, we speak. I can't play. No, uh, no. there's also a racist hat. Hey, yeah. the Redskins, baby. Look Why at would that. You put that on me. <laughs> Because you look the most like. Yeah, fair. (laughs) 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 It's not wrong. No, it's true. Um, Natives are Native Americans are sick. I love learning about Native Americans. Yeah, I I love when they. That's why you got the hat. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. (laughs) I'm like all that so that they can get a a racist football team. Yeah, yeah. That they were so (laughs) racist to watch. I love I love how lazy slurs can be. Yeah. (laughs) Just like hey, we call you the N word, but also if you're from the Middle East. We put sand in the front yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do they look like? They got red skin. Say less. Yeah. <laughs> what do they? What do they eat? Beans. <laughs> All right. Uh, on the end of that. They also eat corn. Ah, eh, corn is too hard to say. Right. <laughs> White people eat corn too. So. Yeah, it's not the same kind of love. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of racist hats and L train vintage, while I was there, I saw a hat from some person's 4K for charity. That said, Kristen, spelled K R I S T I N, Kristen's clan. Ooh. You want to guess how they spelled clan on the hat? Please, no. That they were selling for with $6 at Please. L Train Vintage? How much? Wasn't with a Q. <laughs> Wasn't with a C. No, I pointed this out to a, a, a nice seeming gentleman just to be like, am I alive? Is this real? Am I dreaming? Is this a thing someone decided to put on a charity hat? And he's like, yeah, I wouldn't have spelled it that way either myself. <laughs> Uh, I love that's, a, what's, that's such a New York response. You like, should put yeah, it. I mean, I isn't that. it the correct spelling a clan though? Oh, what's the actual? Isn't it a C? It's a C. Yeah, it's it's a yeah. C. if you yeah. wanted to spell the word clan, that depends in the who dictionary, you ask. It's with yeah. a C. Yeah, what Reddit forums are you on? Yeah. <laughs> a Q would have also been a fun twist a that clan. wouldn't have taken my brain the direction it went. But no, they were running for Kristen's. Uh, Cancer clan. Cool clan. Oh. Yeah, it was a C. Which it is, is sad C. because like... Phonetic K. Phonetically, no, right? There's, it's because no Southerners way. don't know how to write. Yeah. No <laughs> Kristen yeah. is it's a Scottish word. This hat, right? Kristen's not designing that hat. She's in the hospital. She's on her last legs. Right. You know, they're running to keep her alive from multiple sclerosis or whatever the fuck she's got. Yeah, right, right. Myelo leukemia. I have like a disdain for people that ask for money when they're running. Just don't like it. When like, they're running? Yeah, they're like, <laughs> I just fucking hate it. Like, you're like, oh, I'm doing a marathon in Munich. Can you give me $20? I'm like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> just because you have a midlife crisis doesn't mean I have to give you $25. I'll just donate to people by myself. I don't know. Sure. So That's annoying. always, I mean, charities are. F- a it's lot always, of it's always people anyway. with money, too. It's never like people like, oh, I'm like downtrodden and like I'm, I'm going to try to like raise money for myself to like keep this my apartment. It's always like, I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, I work at Wall yeah. Street. It's, and it's, I'm bored. It's. <laughs> <laughs> It's you stroking your ego. Yeah, it's always much. like it's always a certain kind of person. It's like, ugh. God, it's whatever. like I trained really hard for this. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that yeah. I can 
get Billy, money for it. Billy, it must be really nice to focus on editing and not have to listen to three guys who will never run a marathon be like, yeah, fucking running a marathon is it's fucking, fucking bullshit, masturbatory. Dude. I was just trying to like... No, no, that's not what I said. Asking for money while I'm doing money, that's <laughs> masturbatory. I was marathon. trying to figure out how to ask him for money at the end of this. <laughs> for 5K. For if 5K, you're planning to hold up. this uh, recording hostage in order for our careers to... <laughs> Get on the super jump, right. the mega bump off the smoking simian. I'm prepared to pay you uh, three dollars in perpetuity. I got a, I got a rubber That's band. it. Per- what are you, fucking Kevin O'Leary? <laughs> perpetuity. I just threw that on there because it sounded <laughs> fun. I've, I'm still in my head, stuck in that posh British professor voice. Bust it I've up. Been, this is me Bust it up. doing my own. But I was thinking, in perpetuity, would be a great ah. phrase for this guy, for this gentleman, sure. to exude. Indubitably. Indubitably. <laughs> yes. Very much so. Speaking of English people. Oh. Right. Hey. Yeah, where are we guys, going? Guys, Oasis is getting back Oh, together. yeah. What? Yeah. That's fucking exciting. I don't know if you guys care about They're that. They're behind the that. times. They're behind the times. If they wanted to succeed nowadays, they'd have to be called OA Trans. Mmm. Oasis. You can't Boo. turn this guy off. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is, uh, what are the, the Gallagher brothers? The Gallagher brothers. They want to be brothers. successful on stage. They better start smashing watermelons. How, o- how long were they like not Listen. talking to each other for like 15, 15 years? <laughs> I'm ignoring the watermelons. I'm ignoring that was the, a yeah. really no, good no, joke. No, it wasn't. No, yeah. He's Gallagher. I, uh, he smashes no, I, the no. fucking watermelons. I got smashing it. Smashing <laughs> pumpkins. Smashing Anyways. pumpkins, right? That's another band that could. Hey. We could just name bands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they also should have just been the Smashing Watermelons. All all music should be Gallagher centered. I feel like the only person who gets close at all is Weird Al. Well, yeah. It looks he should like just him, be right? Weird Gal. Yeah, with the hair. But I do want to talk about this Oasis. Yeah. Didn't talk to each other for like fifteen years. Yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a specific reason? Do you know? Uh, it's supposedly, as far as what Noel says, Liam is a prick, which. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> he seems like a prick. So that didn't talk to each other for fifteen years over this. Yeah, I guess. I mean, being a, in a band, fuck, dude, that's hard. And they're brothers, even though they're brothers, you know, like being in a band. You hear other bands are like, we don't even hang out when we're not on tour or recording an album. You met artists, Ugh. you know what I mean? Yeah, hard to be hard people to get along with. Right? Yeah, especially like Liam, who is all he. Not, I shouldn't say all he does, but he just sings. He doesn't write the songs. He doesn't oh, he doesn't write the songs. No, no, no. Oh, he just sings that. and yeah. is the front man. Where Noel is like doing everything. So he does. Noel does everything in the background. Essentially, yeah. he does all the songwriting and yeah. riffs and all that. And Liam took all the fame. Kind of, sorta. Yeah. Yeah, because he's the front man. You know, it's that's the dynamic of a band. It's it's. I wonder so how that hard. feels. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the boyish good looks. Look at the I'm just a yeah. troll in the background working. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like typing <laughs> up here like I this. Mean, <laughs> Let, let's take a moment to show the camera what why I'm feeling insecure right now. Let's do a little co-flex for them. God damn! Yeah, look at that. No, look look at that shit. Yeah. That's a big arm. He's bro. got a Harry Potter tattoo yeah. on. Hasn't he heard the news? J.K. Rowling. I support her in every way. She's over. I I, I, I retweet it. everyone for tweets. <laughs> <laughs> I've never read Harry Potter. Really? And I watched some of one of the movies. I don't even remember which one it was. Interesting. Okay. And it, uh, don't hold up. It's really it's children's it's, entertainment. It's nostalgia. <laughs> like if you don't have the nostalgia for it, it's like watching yeah. Airbender now. You're like, eh, you know what I mean? yeah. admittedly, it's like playing Zelda now. Yeah. Except for the new ones. The new ones are fucking great. And the music's always great. I, I not I, not I the case for Harry Potter. All the new shit sucks, dick. Really? Yeah. Tra- oh, yeah. Trans dick specifically. You no, know what that, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that fake kinda, ones. That kind of tore my family apart for a second. Speaking of siblings fighting, I had to hold some secrets because my oldest sister, huge fan of Harry Potter, ever since the first book came out, she was at all the midnight releases, books mm-hmm. two through seven, mm. all of them, and she was playing the Harry Potter video game. My youngest sister trans mm. and also too young to give a shit about harry potter there was already better children's entertainment by the time she came around like minecraft like roblox <laughs> right <Sure. laughs> roblox there was actually a, never mind anyways the point is i got that secret from my oldest sister that she was playing this game and you know what i did i chambered that secret and you let it out here so it's, it's a reference <laughs> that you never mind i would not oh, of course yeah the chamber ah, right. anyway. yeah. Bitch. <laughs> yeah um it's a, it's in there <laughs> So, 
Uh, most importantly, not only is J.K. Rowling getting sued by the Algerian boxer, but Hell so yeah. is Elon Musk. Hell yeah, dude. Should I do my material wait, about wait, it, or do wait, we want to wait, talk wait. about it? Wait, hold so on. So do you not know about this? J.K. Rowling is getting sued by the, the Algerian, Algerian, the Algerian girl. boxer yeah. that she was like claiming, "Oh, it's a man." Just, right. just because she doesn't fit phenotypically in what she thinks a woman looks like. That's right. cr- like that's a crazy amount of drugs. This is such a wild thing to walk into as sure. like when you didn't have to do anything. You know what I mean? Right. Like, like uh, this is, this is well, well, there's some hard. I supported her because of um, she's from Algeria, which oh, yeah, is dude. my favorite country. Is it really? There's is it really? I feel betrayed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Um no, it's uh she's she's from Algeria, which is a nation that isn't kind to trans people. That's yeah. so it's not right. my favorite country. But she's right. not clear. trans. She she's is not. She uh-huh. wouldn't be trans. She's just yeah. a hardcore she would have moved to uh, so yeah. fuck up. which there's been a lot of. I mean, oh, when God. I was on your guys' show, fucking I was talking about Amanda Nunes. That yeah. bitch is fucking <laughs> hardcore. hardcore as fuck, dog. She's uh, wh- where were the tests <laughs> when there was no outrage yeah. and she was knocking dude, out Ronda if, Rousey? Dude, if Amanda Nunes beats me up, I would also want a drug test and a gender <laughs> test. <laughs> like, wait a second. What I like about the UFC is that the outrage was at Ronda Rousey for getting her ass kicked. Because yeah. there's no fucking room for softness in a hard sport. Sorry. That's right, yeah. Well, that's I'm like I'm sorry. It's yeah. like weaponizing like a certain like white womanness that the Italian boxer did towards someone that like doesn't present as white you know doesn't isn't like it's very like yeah it's a lot of, it's a very messy pie you know what i mean like it's a lot of messy pie it's like it's a lot of things right but that being said like elon musk and jk Rowling could have just shut the fuck up about it you know like and now they're getting sued yeah. under some kind of cyber so, bullying law which yeah. is yeah. So interesting so, J- England? <laughs> so jk rowling is suing or elon suing her no no, no. they're both the um Victims in the lawsuit. I don't know what it's called. Oh, uh, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry. Gotcha, no, gotcha, victim gotcha. would be the plaintiff. And why bro. Elon? Because he didn't censor her? No, because no, no, he was also adding to the... He, anytime someone oh, would be like, hey, gotcha. this is a man, XY chromosomes, because I guess... Because <laughs> yeah. I'm looking... Because I'm fucking looking. And that's how I... I don't want to fuck her, and I want to fuck every woman, so yeah. she's not a woman. <laughs> yes. Mm. Um, yeah. I don't want to fuck her, dude. <laughs> But there's plenty uh, of women I don't want to fuck. That's the, that's the Elon eye would test. Retweet those and be like interesting or fascinating or looking into this. He's said looking into this to like a hundred thousand like Nazi this. fucking tweets yeah. since last year. I don't think he's ever looked into anything. I think he's just. I think he's reckless. trolling. I think he's a troll. I think he's a goof. Dude, he's almost. He's, he's a almost, troll with a lot of power. Fifty dog. Like that's disgusting. Get a hobby. Get into more yeah. time. I don't know. Do yes. something. Yeah. Right? <laughs> spend time with your children. Well, Elon one of them Musk. is crazy, Elon Musk. Think, spend like, time with your children. One, one oh kids, yeah, one of his kids she is gave trans up and like, and he just kind of like, wow. About, yeah. So I think that's a part of like his psyche towards it. Like he just feels like his kid got robbed from him because of this. But right. rather than just facing the fact that like, you know, your kid was probably born in different in, in the wrong gender. You know what I mean? Like, and needs gender affirmation care. You know, but sure. He'd rather just be a troll on Twitter, <laughs> yeah, than be a good father. Which I, you know what, can't wait. Well, do you that's th- gonna be me in like twenty years. <laughs> do you think that there's zero influence? Nice hat. Thank you. Do you zero. think that there's? I don't know that the number's zero. What do you mean? On influencing people to transition do you ever, outside do you, outside of their own. We've all been on the internet pretty fair enough. Do you think you've ever been influenced to change into a woman? Mm, I haven't. But there's a lot of people that get influenced to do I other things. I've been influenced to listen to uh, music I've never listened to before. Well, that's not the fucking same from changing your genders, Antonio. You know what I mean? Like, if you're, right. if you're already curious about changing your gender or something that you're gender fluid or something, you, the internet is a room to go into and be like, hey, like, this is something I'm curious about. I don't know if this is my expression quite yet. And you can find people with the same notions or like the same ideas as you. I don't think that's the same thing as being pushed towards changing your genders. Like, that's, I've got a perspective on this having watched it happen. Uh, mm. in a uh, oh, right, person right, right. close to me, which is that no people are not being pushed into it, but some people exist in more and less. And this isn't going to be funny. This isn't going to contribute to the comedy aspect of a comedy podcast. Some people, no matter what, even coming out as gay, even coming out as bi, requires some amount of like feeling like you won't be killed for it, right. and also feeling like there are people you can come out to first. And then others, and then others, and then gradually work on incorporating that more into your day to day life. The way it is with trans is it's the hardest thing to be because it's the most likely you'll get killed for it. Out of all the identities you could decide to be, it's the one most likely to get you beaten up and killed. That's I, just the facts. I'm a Knicks right. stats. I'm a Knicks fan, though, so I don't know. same levels. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for the sorry. I didn't need it, but I wanted it. Anyway. <laughs> 
So what happens is that you do have people who are exposed to certain communities in which people are able to like, hey, this is how I am and I feel and I feel confident in that. And that gets them on the step to being like, oh, well, that's someone cool because I appreciate that they have confidence. Gradually get, you know, spend more time in these ecosystems. You got to turn off those fucking alerts. I don't know who's going <laughs> ding. Yeah, he was cooking, bro. <laughs> um, and I lost the train of thought and we haven't even started smoking on this fucking <laughs> simulator. But... So you're in your discords around your topic, which is, let's say, Magic the Gap. Um, I could pick ones that are less specific to my sister, honestly. I could pick, let's say... That's so funny. What's a, what's a, what's <laughs> Just a out of your sister's media. a Magic player. <laughs> right, that's the worst thing that could happen. So. Um, let's say... Uh, RuPaul. One of my favorite platformer games, Celeste. So RuPaul is for gay people. It's not really for trans people at all. I that said, there's no overlap. <laughs> not really. Drag is drag is a gay thing and not a trans thing, and this is known. Right. Uh, I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm not sorry. gonna. I'm not gonna jump in these waters, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna I mean, dry on the shore. It's a little muddy, but mostly drag is still occupied by gay people and less by people with trans identity. Mm. That said, the more time you spend in these communities, yeah, eventually at some point, if you are trans, you're gonna be more confident and ready to come out as that. Because you have this support, and you're going to come out to them first. Yeah. You're going to work on things. Maybe you'll pick your new name. It's like when people and maybe work. first name you pick is Sapphire. Yeah. And then a couple months down the line, they're like, "Hey, by the way, there's 15 Sapphires in the Discord. Could you like pick a, like a?" And then you pick the name Kai. The Ryzen. sentence there's and 15 you Kai Sapphire. for a little while, and then gradually you get around to a a reasonable name like Caitlyn. And yeah. now the Discord channel is Caitlyn's Clan uh, with a C, <laughs> and. It's not Caitlyn Jenner, actually, uh, so it has to be Caitlyn with a K. Fuck. Uh, uh, it could be Caitlyn Jenner. She's in the Discord? Yeah. She was originally Sapphire. <laughs> she can't. <laughs> Has anyone said Caitlyn Jenner? <laughs> now you have. <laughs> I've added point. to the chorus of voices saying Caitlyn Jenner. Right. The point is that it requires support, and to some extent support can be like interpreted right. as, oh, these people are pushing you to do right, this thing. Right, right, and on the right. other hand, it could be, oh, everyone else is pushing you to pretend you're cis. Yeah. So to what level do we think of support as... Um, Influence. As, right. As, right, as like breadcrumbing you towards a direction right. yeah. as opposed to just you are the sum of the people around you. Right. And to some extent, you might find that having discovered this identity, uh, is, it's a lot easier in these environments. Whereas people that never were into Magic the Gathering or Celeste the video game or other things that generate trans identity like minecraft notably which is weird really right, right. oh yeah um people who have not had those hobbies don't end up in those discords and never make those connections and a lot of them might on some level be like yeah i feel weird i don't really feel like a dude but whatever my aunt is 50 something years old menopausal she tells me Gross. all that she loves to tell me if i was born when you were i would have transitioned to a man and i'm like mm. You know, nothing's stopping you, but, like, do you feel like you got a full life without having changed your gender? And she's like, yeah, it doesn't affect me. Yeah. So to her, it doesn't matter. But, yeah, I mean, I do think that people are the set of their influences. I think it's funny that she says that all the time, though. <laughs> There's this, uh, she's like, I would have been a I'm man. done cooking. I'm going to yeah. take a breather. What's her name? She's uh, like her, I, think, I think her name is Jacqueline. She goes to Eastville sometimes. Yeah. She's friends with Steph Brown. She she has lesbian moms and she has a joke about her mom going like she was just talking about like how there's not as many lesbian bars in New York City there's like a dying breed they're yeah. all just queer bars now you know what I mean or they're like you know inclusive to different the whole spectrum right um and she, her, her mom just goes is like yeah it's because all the dykes are turning into trans <laughs> just like it's such true. a wild jump to say <laughs> on stage like, the the way my aunt phrases it is that all the dykes are turning into trans. So I think it's a commonly held viewpoint. Also, my favorite thing to, thing to ask anytime someone's like, oh, yeah, I have gay dads or I have gay moms is just how many? Mm. You can have a few. Question. How many? Yeah. Four? We got a what throuple? if you had we got two dads that got married and then they divorced and then they got remarried? Now we you have four, four dads? dads. All right. I'm hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that's, tenting. That's four more than mine. What I was alluding to when I said that there is some kind of influence is partly what you're saying right, right, is right. that, you know, openness is in a sense influence. Uh, but what I was referring to is just ideology in, in the sense that when an ideology is latched onto by a swath of people that also happen to be a part of the media, um, there's 
a some kind of pressure from somewhere to um, talk about it more and speak about it more. And I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing. Right. But in doing that, I think that that allows in space for maybe unwanted influence or, or influence that isn't uh, that wouldn't have been there otherwise. Now, that being said, there's always going to be an ideology that's going to be pushed. There's always going to be a new one. Right now, we're living in the pendulum swing of the complete opposite, where so many years ago, not that long ago, everybody was totally outraged all the time by everything. Right. And now it's the back way where people are saying retarded again and... Oh, now people you know, are everything. when people will say something like, yeah, I don't want to hang out in spaces that are all white people. And then you'll get like a hundred fucking thousand tweets on X.com saying, oh, so you want me to fucking die? Yeah. So you want me to die? Because you don't want to come to my church study group, so you just want me to fucking die? Yes. And it's over for me. Which I is true. You. So it's just... It's, well, well, not, well, now if, I do. If we <laughs> not before you tweeted at me, but yeah, now yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, we, it's, it's weird that there's so much like white genocide like that is a weird subcurrent of the internet that is online. like you got to keep it on now yeah, yeah it doesn't, <laughs> uh, and it's stuck on my little palestine so let's, get a, let's get a zoom in on that yeah. oh um, free palestine wait, wait, wait. yeah, yeah well, you want to drop, drop uh, the motto what you want to drop the motto oh no no no, 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 no. we'll do that later that said yolo um <laughs> that's right we skipped a word didn't we what word did we skip that's the motto and then you said yolo oh uh, we skipped a word I don't God, damn it. really. What's the word? Could you look that up? Rhymes with Higga. Ah, <laughs> brother. He's quick. He's quick. He's quick. He's good. He's good at this. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. I think the most likely one of the actually say the word is Antonio. Mostly because you're confusing racially. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I wonder what our lifetime end count is in this room. I wish it popped up over your head. The number. Oh, N word. Oh, yeah. Oh, lifetime. Man. Well, I, I'm count Latino. I say five every morning. Just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just to pray. <laughs> it's a rosary just for to me. Get it out. <laughs> No, it's the, <laughs> the, the local imam, like the muezzin. No. Yeah, yeah. no. And you drop and you prostrate. Yes. Yeah. Mecca, you say five ends. Yeah. And you go about your day. And you it's just a photo. It's just a photo of, of Omar lot. from The Wire. You're just like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I hit that muezzin. You did, pretty you did pretty clean. good. Pretty good. That's that pretty was good. That's a pretty Atlantic Avenue little call right there. Uh, I was happy with it. Uh, I feel yeah. like a lot. Is there a lot of. You remember Muslims around, over there? Uh, you remember around uh, Ramadan, like what is that? March, April, they had all the little like around Eastville, they had all the little like moons, green oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. moon mm. and neon up around, and it said Happy Ramadan on a big banner around there. No, I don't that's, remember that. Well, that's the area where I bought this thing, mm. and it's time to say the motto. Oh yeah, there's no chance that's. Yeah, the count it down. Uh, three, two, one. Fuck, fuck Israel. Israel. That's the motto. But that's where I bought this, and I've never thought Palestinians. And their supporters were anti-Semitic until this thing cost seven dollars. Seven dollars. Mm. Sorry, that's Sorry. a lot I'm of money. Keep talking into yeah, that and then like I started allies. bargaining him down, and he did become anti-Semitic. <laughs> um. Uh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. You were like, like a Jew such, would charge. That is like the premise of a great sketch. Like you're trying to be pro-Palestine, but you're going to be kind of Jewy about it. <laughs> seven dollars. Seven dollars. <laughs> this economy. <laughs> You're saying I'll costs, support them, but at what cost? <laughs> <laughs> You're saying it costs five thousand dollars to get across the border to Egypt. Put me on the phone. Put hey, me on the phone. Let Listen, talk, let me talk. This to guy, <laughs> I'm good. He's Egyptian, right? I'm uh, good with the Egyptians. I, I I went to a shook one time. I know I plenty. This guy I down. know plenty of Egyptians. Oi. I know plenty of. Them. This hurts on my wrist. It's, I don't even like how it feels on is my anyone wrist. Anyone else's wrist kind of burning? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 they had to stop Jews from working for UNRWA, which is the aid agency in Gaza. Yeah. Not because they were infiltrating or ca causing any issues, but because they would be like, hey, not so many chickpeas, Ahmed. <laughs> no, hey, leave some for the rest. Yeah. I like how like uh, bargaining is such a like a like a stereotype for like so many different cultures cuz I feel like everyone like gets along with like it's like, "Oh, we're going to haggle." Right? Yeah. We were on the beach and I was like, I don't really drink. Yeah, I hope you guys had fun, by the way. Oh, this was like last time. But yeah, it was fun. It was good. It was Sorry you couldn't make it. Yeah, why didn't you make it? Yeah, I work was working. Oh, right. Working, man. Yeah. Uh, but That's we were, not a problem There was a guy me. selling nutcrackers on Rockaways. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, yeah, I'll buy two for 15. I don't drink. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like, they said, this crack is nuts. Yeah, yeah. It was just, <laughs> and it was, oh, and I was just like, yo, I almost broke my sobriety just because I wanted to haggle with this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just go just back like, and forth with them. Two for 15. All right. What are we yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Same day, another dude came by selling hard-boiled eggs dude. out of a they were like season carton two? of eggs. Yeah. Out of like a No, they were plastic. Egg. It was plastic. It was like plastic wrap. It wasn't carton. Oh, what the fuck? It was like cl- plastic Loose film. Eggs. They had He had the Venezuelan flag over the eggs. And Ooh, I was just like talking to him in Spanish. I was like, are you selling eggs? And he's like, Papa, you know what we do. I was like, don't include me in this. <laughs> we don't do this at all. Like, <laughs> this is not, I'm not a part of this at all, dude. Like, you, you know how the <laughs> Dominicans be out here slinging anything. Yeah. To, yeah. to if, just, just, it's a hustle. It's a chamba. It's a way of life, man. We sell eggs, bro. If you're that, selling I'm eggs. I definitely, I, I definitely said the N word in my head. I was like, is this man selling eggs? Like, <laughs> instead of man. Like, right. <laughs> right. Yo. <laughs> If you're this selling motto eggs, blank YOLO uh, selling eggs. Uh, <laughs> what? A rockaway? I don't trust a rockaway egg. <laughs> if you're selling eggs on the on the side of somewhere, there's got to be a farm behind you. Right. You can't just be selling eggs. Just loose eggs. Just <laughs> you're just trying to flip eggs. Like the box says, Egglands. Like I, love, I know <laughs> you. I love the city. Hey, just yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone's gonna buy them. They got garbage down the and way, the man. Is, we got eggs. like three or four left. Someone bought the eggs. Like, oh <laughs> man. You're saying that the eggs are being produced on site at the Rockaway Beach is what you're saying. They got to be. I think that's the only thing at the beach getting laid. Folks. Hey. Folks. Folks. You didn't get laid after the beach? Folks. <laughs> yeah, I, you did. No. <laughs> no, you did. I didn't. <laughs> Come on. <I> did. <laughs> We're spilling secrets. Nah, yeah. no one got laid. No one got laid. You got twerked on. You got twerked on. Oh. Yeah, yeah. uh, it's always a good time. Yeah, it's always a good time. Although there was a sexual harassment. Uh, got Berlin. all of us. Pretty impressive. Literally, sexual. <laughs> this someone shook his dick around. Insanely bronzed, like I think she was Latina. Like bright orange Puerto Rican yeah, lady. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Older with like. Oh, yeah, who knows? She's what 65. Age? Her tits are 20. Oh, right. Yeah, her tits okay. were Botoxed and yeah. also like That's the lovely. staples were installed recently. The yeah. Mavis yeah. staples were installed recently. Yeah. Speaking of staples. Um, <laughs> yeah. This is like I said. We've done enough content at this point. The rest of the hour is callbacks. Yeah. 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 I, don't, also, I don't know how long this even runs. This is fun. Forever, man. No. This is fun. Till do, 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 do. So what happened with this lady? Oh, right, right, right. Fake oh yeah, tits. so she uh, squeezed she my hot. friend's ass. Okay. My friend in this case is a woman, and then she squeezed my other friend's ass, who didn't seem to mind. Yeah, I mean Hunter's like, you know, she gets in the zone in yeah, terms yeah. of party partying down. Yeah, and she, then my tits. Yeah, and she, then someone else's tits. She came up to me and like point. grabbed me by the waist and just put her tits in my face. And I was there like, was a lot of tits in face. The beach day like, would have been over if I, I was said we gotta, we no, gotta figure this out. Goodbye, guys. We got three Puerto Rico. Guys, <laughs> that's when we left that area, which yeah. was the like, you know, well, we the had that nice Burgess guy man. who was like running defense on us. Yeah, there was, was a so guy good. who I think was hitting on me at the beginning, but then turned over to just kind of being our knight in shining armor. Dude, he right. was like, he was absolutely clear, like, but like tall, no, just it, built I, like a fucking like I looked man. At his, mm. I looked at his Instagram. You're gonna want to look at his Instagram. Chill Films one. This man is beautiful. Very beautiful man. Fucking. So who was queer? Who was queer? Dark, this, this guy. This guy. <laughs> me well, now. Well, now. Well, because he saved us. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're not going to blow him after saving you from a crazy Puerto Rican lady? Come on, dude. Oh, man. I would consider that guy a villain. I would consider that guy a villain. <laughs> you Nobody got a villain. <laughs> you were the, like, what are you clear, doing, bro? You no, like, there. yeah. <laughs> she smelled like the inside of a Newport box. I didn't box. want my oh, titties grabbed. Please. I also was not drunk, and everyone was supposed to be drunk for that to start happening. Yeah, I think uh, she didn't kind, judge. Kind, man. Running defense. Yeah. You know what I mean? she, had not, she had bad Alkdar. Whereas my gaydar was on point that day. Yeah. Sure. And it made me a friend. Yeah. <laughs> I think it must um, be more than a friend. Shouts out to that dude. Yeah. He, uh, anyways, we had fun <laughs> dancing. But, it was fun, yeah. yeah. Uh, the music only started getting good after we all like felt bad because we were sexually harassed. I was like, uh, can, you play, was sh- like, can you play Temperature by Sean Paul? He was like, I have to play four more gay hits. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was literally nothing but gay hits, yeah, 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 yeah. top to bottom. It, and Not there were like great new ones. gay hits. No, there wasn't no. even like, like the gay mafia mix. does. Yeah. Eurythmics, that's a gay hit I can dance to. Yeah. Yeah. Anything, by, anything by uh, Robin? Nothing by Robin. Madonna? No, no some, nothing. I love Madonna. Some, yeah, exactly. None of, none of the hits. It was all like <laughs> the kind of music that you play in a gay club, the like sort of laid back disco you play in a gay club so people can focus on sucking dick right, and right. not have to be like, no, I have to stop and dance. Yeah. Because yeah. right. I know gay people, as you can tell by my strong stance on RuPaul's Drag can we put Race. That on that? Can we put that I know the, gay people. Can we put that as a beginning? I'm going to need this whole episode <laughs> deleted. <laughs> I'll, pay I'll pay you I want $3. only an hour of David going. I know gay people. <laughs> I know gays. I've got a lot of gay friends. A lot of gay I got friends. a buddy that put me on game, getting ladies at a gay bar. How do you do that? 
You just go. <laughs> <laughs> like, this guy's obviously straight. They're like, <laughs> yeah, because it's almost like, a cross like, like fish, in a Boston in a hat. <laughs> fish in a barrel, son. Uh, They're like, uh, you're not gay? No. They almost like it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Vamos. I, I was only ever at gay bars because almost all of my friends until I started comedy were gay. And now it's all fucking lonely straight men. And it's not men. anymore? No, it's lonely straight men. It's Which is pretty close to gay. Because the gay comics have enough friends already. There's a, the Venn diagrams are almost a circle. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> bear with me on this one. The gay comics in the scene right. have so many friends, and friends. it's because they already had them before, right. and now there's no room. And I get it. I'm not the person you want to hang out with. That's fine. Just David over the but fence, like, please I let miss me in. you. <laughs> He's like the dude from Home Improvement want... that you never see half of his face. <laughs> Help. Wilson, <laughs> I want to be the token straight again. Yeah, I, I miss that. Now I'm with token now straight. everyone's yeah, straight. The token straight in a friend group? I miss it. No, I mean I have gay friends, but it's interesting. Yay, gay black friends! Wow, come on! Clap it up for gay black friends. He wants to. He wants to fuck me too. So it's like we got a good good yeah, friendship. Got a good vibe. <laughs> Here's That's the thing about having gay friends: great compliments. Always an undercurrent that like we would. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 which is nice. Yeah, I, mean, I don't it's mind. It's nice to have sexual tension with a friend. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I like attention. Who doesn't like attention? Yeah, yeah they're yeah, yeah. just messing with you two. I'm sorry. I mean, there's a possibility they want to fuck you, but not always. No, no, no. no. You don't know. That is brand one of the main main yeah. methods of messing with straights is being like, oh, but I would, and like they wouldn't. Have you seen gay people? They're so hot. Oh my god. I'm yeah. Just, the market that they're shopping in, it's like they leave. Trader Joe's and there's a banana on the floor and they're like that looks good. No, they're not going after us. Well, they're they like a banana. Gaze. They look better. I, look, they're hotter. They go to Equinox. I don't know. Look, don't. I, I go not, to Blink, I not put which is a partner like, of Equinox. Uh, don't put everyone's like just because like the average gay man tends to be hotter doesn't mean there's not a huge swath of like what they would go for. I agree. There is yeah. a rainbow and a swath. That said. A I swastic, mean. a swath, a swath sticker. Swath sticker. Huh. Speaking also, of stickers, anybody got their Eastville sticker on them? I got one. Right I got a couple. I got one over there. I got one over there. Yeah, let's get this in the. There's in the shot. Simeon I designed in these myself ah. in MS Paint. So you uh, copied the actual design of the Eastville no, Club. No, look close at it. Look close <laughs> at it. I had to build. I had to build that letter. You see that? You can't really see it. You see that? There you go. You see that N? In there, and don't take that out of context. Uh, on audio listeners, I'm talking about the East Villain sticker. <laughs> take it out of context. Take it out that of context. And in there is an upside down V with an extra Whoa. arm on it. How do you all have little, all that room on the back the of that case to have that word on there? All the uh, <laughs> like tile in the background, I matched everything. At the bottom, it says established 2024. I built that too and that for myself in MS Paint out of built. I wouldn't there. use built. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you call it when you take bricks and you use them to construct something, motherfucker? In, in MS Paint? Yeah. Yeah. Autism. Thank there you, you go. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Pra- pridefully. pridefully. Proud. I would say a lot of carpenters who build things with their hands are probably a little autistic. Have you good seen, ones? They don't yeah. really, they don't oh really my speak God. My dad's a carpenter. Trust me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Such yeah. satisfying a, videos to fall asleep oh, with. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, what is, I love that. What is your favorite... Current favorite YouTube stuff that I kind of doze off to. Oh. Been Trackmania, watching... the video game, because the car emits a droning noise as it accelerates. It goes. Nice. You know what? I like the survival chance videos survival with uh, chance. The, they send oh, the car yeah. and it's like, this will is it actual jump straight, over these buses? This is actual straight male culture. It's like, what YouTubes are you watching? Yeah. To follow <laughs> <straight? Absolutely. laughs> this is some, yeah, Instagram real brain. Have you seen those? Up. I have oh, seen them. Oh, my them. God. Of course. I've seen They're every horrifying. Type of reel. Uh-huh. They're horrifying. I do, well, a, it's, I, it's I do Lord of the Rings deep lore. Oh, really? Yeah, you're, you're deep in Lord of the Rings. I can't yeah. fall asleep to that shit because it's too fascinating. Yeah, yeah. I'll do one, maybe two, and then yeah. put something like space space related where like found this new exoplanet that, you know, like, just like immediately. You pass right out. <laughs> yeah, what I like to do is uh, nuke my insides with uh, lots of food. Oh, uh, you fall asleep easily? Maybe some booze, and then I'll pass out 
Do you have acid reflux? No, I don't. You're going because to. That's how I got <laughs> it. That's yeah. how I got it. You will. Oh, I've yeah. been doing it a while. I don't know. I think <laughs> no, I was. Uh, uh, it should hit me. Actually, now. this might be Italian jeans. <laughs> yeah, like exactly. you're good. <laughs> We're tempered. <It's> fucking <laughs> line, like it's a lining of garlic <laughs> in my stomach at all times. Third year of college. I was He's trying Jewish, to put and on I have stomach issues up the wazoo, so there's no way. <laughs> right. Third year of college, I was trying to put on mass, so I was doing the GoMad diet, gallon of milk a day is what that stands for. And then on top of that, I was also getting really into cooking. I would make Indian curries as fucking spicy as I wanted. Ooh, just and heavy drink on the spice, on the hot garam masala and the hot ch- uh, curry powder and the hot chili powder from the ethnic food store. Does Delicious that food. Like a, does that look like a Jackson Really Pollard. tasty. I would eat about a pound of that <laughs> with about a pound of rice. And then I would go straight to sleep horizontal. And now my stomach doesn't work anymore. Really? Uh, really. Yeah. Damn. See, it's I don't have that. Problem. I mean, I, maybe I will, and when that happens, maybe, maybe I'll... Maybe calm down. What do you eat? Yeah, yeah. What, what's, what your, what's your bedtime snack? Oh, it depends. If I'm at uh, Coyote Club Oh, you'll be wearing street, Depends. And, uh, yes, I will. Uh, nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Coyote Club is one of my spots down the street. It's a bar, but right outside of it is uh, is, a, is a Mexican like food truck. Mm. So I'll get a, a fucking house of torta. Uh, uh. Right bet, where bet, you're sitting, right where you're sitting, I right bet you now. You've many a torta. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> preaching to the choir. I'm yeah. Not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll pound one of those. Ah. Hey. Uh, um, I'll get like a lamb over rice. Eat a pint of Hagen Dazs on top of that. Pint of Hagen Dazs. Do like thirty push-ups. Are you okay? Is this like a call? <laughs> Dude, like, there's a there's a hotline for this. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's my uh, my most. My under- going to night ritual is going to come with those with Hagen Dazs. That's my uh, my most worrying addiction. I think food like a bizarro right. Joe Rogan. Yeah, exactly. A bizarro Joe Rogan. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just like take a nice plunge. Then eat a pint of Hagen Dazs. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is elk flavored Hagen Dazs. Oh my god. <laughs> Speaking of none of that, Gerson <laughs> yesterday went to the Childish Gambino show yeah, at the Barclays was, Center in Brooklyn. Tell like us a little bit about that, Gerson. It was like a, it was, <laughs> it was like if an interracial couple had Olympics. You know yeah. what I mean? Like everyone was just like a lot of Southeast Asians, more than I was expecting, honestly. Um, but it was fun. It was great. Um, he's great so show. multi-talented. He's very guy. multi-talented. He started tearing up at one point, like towards the end, because like I mean, he's like. Kind of a pseudo New York dude, you know. He went to NYU. New York was like a home base for him, and he like sold out Barclays. Like that's like a dream, you know. Also, you know, talented comedian. Uh, he's great. It was a great show. It was fantastic. First time I ever heard of him was his Comedy Central special. Back it's great, in the day. great, 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 yeah. great. Yeah, when he's yelling poop, poop, and he's uh, <laughs> he's talking about how he was a nerd, yeah, yeah, and how he like he liked the cranberries or something yeah, as yeah, a kid, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. He, I think like that's a very he is. It's cool to see that. Transformation because, like, a lot of his earlier stuff is a little cringy, you know what I mean? Especially in modern life, life. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, even before that, like, 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 call my dick an accent mark the way I'm about these over ease. Yeah. What was the e coming line? I like What's that, it? like, uh. I mean, he yeah. had so many of those corny ass yeah, bars that yeah. people thought were unbelievable. And myself included, yeah. thought were unbelievable. Those are high. dorm room bars. Freshman 100%. year, yeah. dorm room bars yeah. is like, like, dude, childish. That, like, shit, <laughs> yeah. that shit and thrift shop were bumping oh at the God. time, and now, yeah, I know. Yeah, no, no, no. I like, I like, I like childish early stuff. Like, it, I, there's always a place for. <laughs> Like cringy t- teenage bars, you know what I mean? Like yeah. my chemical Mac romance Miller. is still popular. You know what I mean? Mac like Miller. There's, Young no Mac place, Miller. there's no place for an album named something as cringe as because the internet. That's an insanely cringe name for an album is because the internet. Right. Well, he got his name kidding from me? a Wu Tang Clan Wu-Tang generator. Yeah. You know. <sighs> I had an idea, by the way, for a band that's called Sophomore Album. And their first album is called Sophomore Album, and their second album is Slug. called Self Titled Debut EP. Well, good. Uh, what's the is band? that confusing enough, or would that not work? That just sounds like a like a like a shoegaze band. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's what I would do. Anyways, well, you guys know the band Bad Company. Yeah, Bad they Company by Bad Company. A song and an album. Bad Company. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you get a good enough fucking song. Self-title that shit. Make it track one. Title it the album. Title the band that shit. It's yeah. great. Yeah. What the hell? Are you a Wilco guy? You like Wilco? Uh, I've never listened. To Wilco has like a. I they have Wilco. a self-titled album, five, like eight albums in. Really? Yeah, yeah, I like yeah, Wilco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Fuck yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Well, what what is this? Right, I know we've been adversary. Huh? Huh? I have a song called Wilco on that album. Yeah, yeah, too, Wilco right? by Wilco by Wilco. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mark Great. Jacobs featuring Mark Jacobs by Mark, Mark Jacobs. Jacobs 100%. Colla- in collaboration with Jacobs by Mark Jacobs. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, for Mark by Mark Jacobs. Jeff Sweetie's a genius. He's allowed to do whatever he wants. He's great. He's yeah. um, he's fun. I like that one song about a uh, Whiskey Hotel Foxtrot yeah, yeah, yeah. or Yankee Hotel Foxtrot. I like that one song where she falls in love with the drummer. Yeah, another another and another. Yeah. You should That's check him out. Song. You would like him. He's really good. He's like his earlier Mark stuff, Jacobs. No. Yes, I guess. Wilco. Wilco. Okay. Wilco. Wilco. His <laughs> earlier stuff is a little more like like Midwestern punk. Okay. And then it goes into folk eventually. Mm. And that's plug two. And that uh, dovetails into plug three, which is for Gersom and David Do Homework, available now on Spotify. We have an episode in which we discuss Wilco's role in the environment surrounding George Bush's presidential term and the reaction to 9 11. We did not talk about Wilco. <laughs> we absolutely <laughs> no, we didn't. Did. No, we didn't talk about Radiohead. Hail to the thief. That's Radiohead. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought I brought up Wilco. You're briefly. a creep. I might have. A we weirdo. Also about de- demon days. I meant. I, mu- <laughs> I, I meant to talk about Wilco because it was a very, you know, 2001 to 2005. Yeah, in rainbows by the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they, they had some. They had some like anti-war George Bush. Oh shows. yeah, I mean, I think a lot of those. Um, and yeah. we had fun talking about how good some of the music was in yeah. critiquing that, and how bad some of the documentary film by. Yeah. Me. What's Michael, his name? Michael, Michael Myers? Moore. Michael Moore. Michael Moore was. It's like if Michael Myers left himself to Hagen like, every day. Right. Sure. <laughs> sure. It's like if he had a coyote club around the corner. Yeah, hey. yeah, yeah. Do you guys like uh, Jesse Wells? Not familiar, no. Oh, man. Put on some Jesse Wells. Get him on YouTube. Jesse Wells. I mean, it seems like you guys like uh, like anti-establishment protest yeah. music a lot yeah. of the I time. I like pro-establishment anti yeah, I'm try- <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get laid in Brooklyn, correct? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse Wells is sick. He's like, uh, he's you've probably seen him on Instagram shorts. He's like the the long haired dude playing a guitar. Oh, 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 yeah. He's got all those clever lyrics about the war. Let's do Walmart. I just listened to Walmart the other day. I think I know this guy and I like him a lot. Yeah, no, he's cool as fuck. It's, you know, fun to actually enjoy country. Yeah. (laughs) It's cute. Yeah, yeah. Right. Now people like it's making a comeback. Some dude named Tanner. Walmart today. Yeah, I saw a woman standing humming to the tune of Delta Dawn on a dead battery scooter with just pajamas on. I do not want to go to Walmart today. I got the microphone. Not that we're on. Yeah, he's sick. Hell yeah. And he and he's one of the few guys that puts a harmonica in front of his face and plays it at the mm. same time. Yeah, I no one else has ever done that. That's honestly the <laughs> no I'm saying now. No, that's <laughs> Bob Dylan special. <laughs> and it, it yeah. fell out of favor, but yeah. I like a harmonica. That's one of the things my grandfather did very well was play harmonica. Um, you feel, seem cool. Like You feel like you should be like you ever a, see that on a video train car. Of like, yeah. It's yeah. like the it's day. So you know how Ronnie, LeBron kids, James got caught? smoking weed in high school mm. and the, the, the there's a video of lebron james just playing the harmonica when he, the news broke yeah and it's just the most threatening thing yeah, yeah. and he just goes <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. who's the fucking idiot passing brawny the blunt because that kid's lungs have got to be f- oh my god yeah that kid's lungs have got to be fucking 15 times the size of everyone else in rotation he hits that shit once and it's dead well he had cardiac arrest you know yeah so Did his, he? His yeah, lungs yeah, aren't yeah, that good. Yeah. <laughs> My God, uh, yeah, well, they, he's he's on medication. He's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'll be high. yeah, he's been. Michael live in the shadow of his father Michael? for his entire life. Yeah, whatever. You know, <laughs> like like everyone like, else. Uh, <laughs> short, short, short shadow for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if he did die of that cardiac arrest, it would be the first time someone in the family passed. Mm. LeBron James has the highest amount of. Shut up! I <laughs> thought that was funny. I thought that was funny. People He's think of him as a ball hog. He's time leader. <laughs> I don't know ball. If you were like Carmelo Anthony's kid. <laughs> no, Kobe's kid. Kobe. Some, 
I don't know, Ball, and I was trying to relate to you. This is like when your father is like, hey, I um, I bought Fortnite, and you're like, Fortnite is free. And he's like, I was trying. This is like when I say slay. I was trying my... to relate. That it's like, when like a I, nice dad. It's like when I say slay in front of my gay friends. I'm like, this is a slay, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slay, yeah. They're like, yes, yes, you uh, got uh, it. Yeah. Brad, I, very, very uh, demure. On the, <laughs> way, on the way here, I passed by a taxi, one of those green little taxis in uh, Brooklyn. That green is exactly the same color as the brat green, and I almost mentioned to one of the other people biking, hey, isn't that the brat green? And then I remembered myself, yeah. and I stayed silent. Isn't that nice when you feel like you should say something, and then you don't? We're comedians. I wish I, remember, <laughs> I wish I remembered to do that regarding uh, Kristen's clan, the sure. hat, um, But because I do think that that guy now has to spend all day being like, damn, they're really all around us. Because I didn't mention it was an African-American gentleman about, sure. around 50 years old, who did not need to be reminded of the Ku Klux Klan I love the imagery. It's like, this shirt has the Klan on. <laughs> and you're like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, it, did Do you have any more? you spell it this way? <laughs> you got pointed. That's rude. Yeah, yeah. Like the Can we get these one. pointed? <laughs> and I liked that he said to me, yeah, that's spelled like the Ku Klux Klan. And I was like, You guys want to hear a fun story? You. I went to school down south. Mm. So I'm from New York originally, but I went to high school down south. And uh, one Where? day they, huh? Where in the south? North Carolina. Okay. It's called a place called Burlington. Nice. I didn't cause any racial anxiety in me at all. You know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I used to, like, I lost my accent in my New York. I used to sound like Cardi B when I was growing up, mm. and then just <laughs> nixed that. But anyway, one day they were decided to dress up like. There's a history class. I decided to dress up like Confederate soldiers and the Klan oh. at the high school. And this high school is beside a tobacco farm, to give you an Ooh. idea of how rural this high school was. And so the cops showed up because they were like, the Klan is at the high school. <laughs> yeah. Bro. There's Bro. no fucking free speech anymore. <laughs> it's true. You can't represent Censorship. your own heritage you can't even anymore. Like it's over. Yeah. <laughs> this shit is fucked up. That is fun. Even upset. in the South, you can't do it. I think you can do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's maybe weird not, is when people not at fly school. Confederate not at flags. School. People fly Confederate flags in Rhode Island, right? Uh, upstate New York. You've Some seen people will, yeah. Uh, it's like... They think they're hicks. You, it's not a country thing. It's specific to the Confederate States. You weren't a Confederate State. They I never think, made uh, it close. Uh, what's the, you know that Roy Woods Jr. joke about the Confederate flag? No. He has this joke about like it was when everything they were taking out of statues and trying to get rid of the Confederate flag everywhere. And he's just like, yeah, that's all fine and dandy, but how are black people going to know where to eat down south mm -hmm. if you get rid of the Confederate flag? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is weird that basically the Green Book still exists. And it's the Confederate flag. Yeah, the Green Book. Yeah. Yeah. Green Book Great was, movie. it was a movie, but it was after a real thing, which was the yeah. like guide of places you could actually eat as yeah. a black person. Yeah. Um, and for white people, it also is a very important guide of, you know, sort of a where not to go. You know, you get good treatment at the other places. Right. It's sort of like this is the set of places that treat everyone equally. And if you want to be treated a little better than equally... It's like so the you, Michelin. You know. So you can be So they sold to all kinds of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Except in the South, they don't like Italians either. They think Italians are weird. Yeah. Oh, my See, God. I would, you've, had, you've had it so fucking hard. I'm uh, sorry. Yeah. I it's thought tough. I thought it'd be... This was when it was... <laughs> no, it was Catholics. The like, yeah. clan hated the Catholics. You er, dirty er, Kenzo. Earlier in the episode, I, when people were like... I guess what we were, forget what we were talking about, but I was just like, oh, it's like not being affirmed until you're in certain communities and then you feel like you can be part of the community mm. you know what i mean and i was just like that's why i pretended i was italian down south and then yeah. i got moved back in new york i'm latino again <laughs> yeah. there were people there were black people in the south who were like you know legally if it would, was found out that they were half black or something they would have faced you know all kinds of horrible whatever and stuff bad stuff jim crow but now they, they would put on a turban i'm not fucking with you they would put on a turban and go by like the mysterious Pasha. They would make up what they thought sounded like an Indi Indian name yeah. and pretend to be Indian, and they would get treated way better yeah. and really? get all of the, not all of the benefits of white performers, but treated way better Something because is, yeah. anti black racism was like entrenched and had rules, yeah. and they would be able to be outside of that. And so there was racism, yeah. but it wasn't like, oh, sorry, you go to the. Uh, the black people's torture chamber. Yeah. And now they got to explore all the different torture chambers. Something so happened around like 2001 when they stopped doing that. Oh, uh, yeah. right. What was that? Yeah, that it kind of switched. <laughs> Fuck. I uh, forget. People took off. Never, never forget. Yeah. <laughs> now, Sikh, Sikh people around 2001 started taking off their turbans and wearing uh, basically the hats you guys have on. Because yeah. Yeah. they would do what you guys are trying to do, which is be black. Sikh or not, they're all the Shiite. Oh, see, that mm. Sikh are not even a uh, Muslim. Ah. Yeah, you're thinking of Shia 
versus Sunni. Shiite is an Englishization of Shia. Shia, second most popular sect in Islam. Sunni is the first most popular sect. And then you got Sufism, which is like mysticism. They get killed everywhere. And then you got Alawites who run Syria. And Sounds then you like got a, various other sort of sects great and break-offs and so on. I feel like I'm on a first date with you. Yeah, it's yeah. horrible. Uh, it's a fucking nightmare. Yeah. I was on a date, uh, was it Monday? Sunday, Sunday. I thought it was Saturday. Saturday, all right. You guys went on a date? <laughs> yeah, we went on a date. Well, it was, and it was basically this. Without, yeah. <laughs> without having known anything about the situation, I guess Gerson's just tapped into like my consciousness or something no, on we some just, weird we just, base level. We just level. text each other like we're work husbands. Mm. Yeah, like, we are. No, but you texted me a meme about going on a date with a non-binary person. Oh, right. <laughs> hours before I did, and also before I mentioned I was going to, <laughs> you texted me that meme of Mickey Mouse in Kingdom Hearts throwing off his cloak the yeah. caption says uh, when you forget your wallet on your date with, with a non-binary, non-binary person mm. mickey mouse throws off his cloak and they'll, says they will pay for this <laughs> they'll pay for this <laughs> and uh and they, they did they yeah. did pay they yeah. bought my burger and our fries what is, and what is, their burger and it was delicious it was a great day we had a good time i didn't really you know like, hey listen i'm super picky because i want people i go on dates with to um, pay for, pay to look you? like guys. Well, I want them to have um, a certain spark. I'm going to stop with the, my hands looking like this. Yeah. But uh, anyways, point is, it was a fun day. We talked books. That's what we do, by the way. Going back to plug three, <laughs> Gerson and David do homework where we discuss some of our favorite new and old. classic, yeah. you know, new to us and old to us. Pieces of media, yeah. literature, music. Old tour. What about hot tour? Well, hot tour. What hey, about hot tour? I'll show you a hot. Spitting on a dick. Andrew huh. Dice Clay made fucking. It was so hilarious when he opened for Kill Tony. Oh, what was the joke? At MSG. I don't know what the joke was, but just he can. No say one anything. does, but Tony. <laughs> he can say anything. Yeah. He's just like this fucking hot tour girl. Hey. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Spitting on a dick. <laughs> it was awesome. That that like that was like. Andrew Dice it was Clay, beautiful. Man. It was like a piece of my it, brain. That he I was. feel like that's what your internal monologue sounds like. <laughs> yeah, Andrew yeah, Dice Clay. Yeah. <laughs> Hickory dickory yes. dock. I should have wear the a- on the dick. <laughs> Hawk. This. Should I wear the ACDC shirt today? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this guy cut what off about his about the bean hat? <laughs> the bean town hat is a yes also. <laughs> yeah. ACDC? What is this? The freaking uh, American Center for Disease Control? Oh. Is it? That's, I don't think it is. Oh, is <laughs> it think, alternated current, to, direct current? I think, yeah, I think it's in reference to radio. Is it Atlantic waves. City, District of Columbia? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. keep this shit going. Yeah, Billy, yeah. what do we got ACDC standing for in your head? I think he's right. I think it's current. <laughs> I don't want a correct answer. Ass come, balls come. The balls How about that? <laughs> now this is a comedy ass. podcast. <laughs> All of a balls sudden, come balls ass. starts with a D. Isn't that funny? Yes. Well, I think that it's where the D starts. <laughs> I think it's where the D starts, but it's that's just my D, opinion. That's where the D if starts. we're speaking on correct opinion. That's where I measure mm-hmm. from. I think it's time we bring up um, that you had a, a horrible brain injury. Uh, <laughs> God damn. So we're really getting into old material now. Wow. Yeah, so uh, yeah. what is it, 10, 8, eight months ago? That's actually how he lost the accent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he used to I, sound like this. I <laughs> lost the accent and I gained a million others. Let me tell you this story. Let me, let me regale you the story ah. in the voice of my new character, which is the guy who wants women to be demure mm. and mindful because we're doing that bit. Point is, yes, I personally had epilepsy, which is a disease that gives you seizures. From the age of 20 to the age of 28, at which point I had a large brain surgery, which dramatically changed the course of my life in many ways. They opened up this slit up here, which you can no longer see because I have a strong hairline, unlike some people in the room. That said, keep the hat on. It's fine. I don't need to be triggered. (laughs) So they... They cracked my skull open just a, just a, a slice, ah. and they pointed a laser into it, and they burned out 
my insular lobe, mm. and by doing so, removed the part of my brain which was causing so much chaos. No, I would have. And they scissors. added the lamb sauce. <laughs> I feel like he's like he's he's Scottisher. He's Gordon Scottish. Ramsay yeah, he's is like Scottish. Scottisher than that. Yeah, but he's not like it's a fucking a, raw. Have you seen that video? <laughs> <laughs> he's the best dude. He's not like a, I'm from Scotland. He's not a fucking groundskeeper Willie. He's right. not this guy. Uh, hello, Anyways. groundskeeper Willie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I would have these fucking seizures up to ten times a day, and yeah, damn. for like yeah, that whole period in my twenties, the whole time. And I was I was trying to do shit. I would have you couldn't jobs. go to a club, right? I would no. So I wasn't photosensitive, just photogenic. And <laughs> nice. I yeah, I would just have seizures randomly, including in my sleep. It wasn't a Ooh. clear stimulus. And what it was was I just had a fucking burnt little connector in there the whole time. Oh really? That not burnt. It just did the wrong thing because mm. brains are complicated. Sure. And some one of them will start doing the wrong thing, and if it does it enough, it creates sort of a short circuit that runs so hot that you get a seizure. And because it ran so hot, it burns that path into the brain. And so it's more likely to fall into one of those in the future. So I'd start with having like one or two weird feelings a month and then a week and then a day. And then the weird feelings became me falling on the ground. And then me falling on the ground became me thrashing on the ground and like beating the shit out of the earth and mm. concrete or whatever I was on. And that would just be every day. And in the meantime, I'm trying to hold jobs I'm trying to date women. I'm trying... Well, sometimes I mess up and I date men. That was an accident. But the point mess is... Mess up? It was a mistake? Huh? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The idea that of... That was the most the Rhode idea. Island... Like, like, I'm, huh? I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry for not yes ending. Sometimes I like silence. Um, anyways, yeah. That's funny. I, uh, so you had a fucked up brain. I had a fucked up brain. Finally, they devised now. a method to cure it. Because this whole laser the thing out, brand new, figuring out why it was wrong, because it wasn't immediately visible in the like months worth of time I spent in hospitals throughout my 20s. I would spend weeks at a time in the hospital with them tracking it, and they'd be like, yep, we took it off. Nothing's wrong. We can't find it. Sorry. Come back again in... Uh, six months and we'll just try again for a week in mm. the hospital so bed. basically had to map your brain to figure out where it was? Not even map. They would just, you know, they would put stuff on the outside. And the problem is the insular lobe is so far inside. It's underneath the frontal mm. lobe that y the outside sensors, the EEG on the outside, couldn't sense how it was fucking up internally that deep. And so the first surgery I had, even before they fixed it, was one in which I s they inserted... Uh, needle-like electrodes about the width of like a pencil lead. Like that guy in the movie. What's they that movie? They put those into my brain. They put 20 of them into my brain, about four inches deep. I don't know the movie, dude. I'm just going to finish the story because it's not that interesting, but we it's got it on other topics. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's interesting. And then once I had these 20 fucking electrodes in my head, they left them in for nine days while I had seizures. I had hundreds of seizures because that's what damn. happens in a week for me. Yeah. And yeah, damn. In that amount of time, they got enough data to fix me. That said, this is all in between September and November of 2023. Now, notably, in October of 2023, Israel started genociding the people of Gaza. And I had a little problem, which is that my parents are Israeli. Technically, I am too. And I didn't care to be on the side of the people doing the genociding. Because in the past, I've always been on the genocided side. I've, I'm Jewish, right? Mm. That's so, our people. It goes to show representation matters. Sometimes you have to be the villain. Here's the That's thing. Right. <laughs> That's right. All right. <laughs> that was, I, we agree. <laughs> I thought you said I have to be the I villain. we collectively. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is I your villain I misinterpreted. <laughs> you see... Be you see, viewers at home, you see how quick Israelis are to anger and violence. Especially towards brown we skin. Towards brown skin. <laughs> we are the problem. That's it. So I started going to these protests. You want to annex the couch? <laughs> <laughs> anyone yeah. anyone going to say something? Has moved. The anyone going to say something? Moved. I need a hot girl in Brooklyn to say something about this. The border has moved, <laughs> and you're just going to have to Guys. move over so I feel safe. I was just making rice. <laughs> <laughs> Not so, the way they make it, though. Yeah, they just stole our season and make it worse. Exactly. So I start going to these <laughs> protests. My parents find out they don't care for it. They tell me that I'm a terrorist and that uh, even worse things. I'd rather not repeat the things they say on air because I don't 
talk to them the anymore. Word, huh? So like, why do I have to it keep? No, it rhymes. It rhymes with bike. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> it rhymes with bamas. You're a dyke? <laughs> <laughs> His parents calling him a dyke. <laughs> That's fun. David Sorry, dyke I'm not brick. in the mic. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, I can't even imagine just being like, what? <laughs> yeah, mom. What do you mean? <laughs> anyway, sorry, you were saying. Was I? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I was trying to keep a slight amount of a lid on. I had to move in with my parents to have this surgery because mm-hmm. I had to find somewhere to do it in Massachusetts. That's the only place that could do the surgery at all. Uh, technology is not good enough in California where I was living. So, I was living with them. And at the same time, I'm getting told every day to move out and that I'm a terrorist. And then I finally have the surgery. And two weeks later, after the fentanyl is all out of my system, including my own supply, I uh, just pack up two suitcases, move to New York. I haven't talked to him since because, like, fuck that. Yeah. Right? I feel like as a parent, you should be there for your child when they have a brain surgery. Is that Mm. crazy? Yeah. Yes? No, no, not crazy. Well, I have some phone calls to make if that's not crazy. (laughs) Or if that is crazy. No, that's pretty well. <laughs> it's definitely... Yeah, I mean, again, we, I already said it before, but I feel like, you know, you're acclimating well. I know it's a, a place you came to after tragedy, which a lot of New Yorkers, I feel like. Uh, yeah, I work. Yeah, a lot in common, you know. I'd like to have a job. Does anyone have a job <laughs> that <laughs> watches this podcast? Uh, yeah. No. Uh, no. I already uh, no, tried no to get one a, has a job. No, no one has a job. fucking quit the day after. You say only comedians are not good Scumbag. workers? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so recently, yeah. in order to work out my skills to get a job, I've been on ProjectOiler.net. All you people back at the at the studio, at the trap house, at the zone, wherever you're that? listening to your podcasts, ProjectOiler.net is a collection of hundreds of difficult mathematical problems intended to be solved with a mixture of mathematical theory and coding, programming knowledge. So if you want to hire me, I'm really good at that type of shit because I'm bright. I'm smart. Actually, I'm good. He's bright scared. You're good at math? Dog, when I had these seizures, when I was having these 10 seizures today, you know what job I was math. working? You know what <laughs> job I was working when I was having all of this? First yeah. job I was working, McKinsey consultant. Second job I was working, researcher at Harvard Medical School. Mm. I'm a motherfucker. My resume is sick. That said, I don't have employment, so I will accept anything you are offering. <laughs> do you not want to do that anymore? No, I... Like, would love to, to have jobs. income. No, it, I'm not here because I'm picky. I'm here because I got uh, kicked out. Mm. That's, uh. This is me at the bar at 2 a.m. I'm not here because I'm picky. <laughs> 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 I can't find pussy anywhere. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> I can't find pussy anywhere. <laughs> real quick, <laughs> real quick, Danzen. You ever get annoyed when, like, d- like there's a certain uh, current of dude comedians just talking about not being able to get laid? I'm like, hey, man. It's annoying. Maybe find a hobby outside of this. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I you're hate you're telling shit. me the room. Ninety percent of dudes. Not a lot of pussy here. What do you do? Maybe get a pottery class. Yeah, I don't know. Like, do yeah, something. Yeah. Work Seven nights a week, I'm in open mics and I meet no women. What's going on what here? I kind of do. Seven nights a week, I'm in rooms of of angry straight men, <laughs> and I'm never around women that want to date. And What's I talk about on? how small my dick is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. I hate that. I hate it, bro. It's just yeah. like, it's just, it's just, it's like a certain version of hating yourself I'm not cool with. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. if you're going to hate yourself, at least make it funny. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. I just like, yeah. I just like, it's, it's like, woe is me is not necessarily funny. You know what I mean? Like, right. It, unless, I don't know. It's In that funny. specific, if it's like. It's funnier the more specific you get. Right. Like, if right. you have a bad date story. Right. Okay, that's funny. Right, right. But if your whole shtick... You know, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If the whole shtick is you, uh, you know, talking about how and, and bad then when you the, are with girls. It's like, when uh, the shtick comes around to, like, <laughs> you know, oh, I'm bad with women because I'm Asian. Specifically, which I hear a lot. But then you hear other versions of that, too. I'm sorry if this sounds like a call-out post. That's fucking racist as shit. And it's also not true. I don't know how, if you know any women, but they all love Koreans. They yeah, have yeah. pictures of Koreans they don't know on their phones. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But when I and do it. When I, say on their phones, <laughs> when I say on their phones, I don't mean saved to their phone or even as their wallpaper. I'm talking about dangling on keychains off of their phones. They have pictures of Korean Little men Koreans. they've never met. I think that sometimes people like... 
there's this undercurrent of like sexual you know like the idea of sexual currency you know like like there's this like there's like algorithms on like oh yeah, 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 like, yeah. On, like, like black guys have the most yeah it's like <laughs> no it's actually I think it's white men and Asian women are at the top okay and then on the bottom it's black women and Asian men technically if, like if, through like mathematics through like dating algorithms and stuff that's kind of what ten, people tend to veer towards right? right but people internalize that to, to a fault obviously you know what I mean like because it's like oh like I'm not as desirable as X so I'm just not desirable which is not the case it's Humanity exists on a huge, like, spectrum, right? right? So, like, so I don't know. Internalizing. Sometimes I feel like people get information and just internalize it the wrong way. It's just like I don't know. You don't have to live in this like area. You know what I mean? Right. What one thing I think we need to remember is that at least as far as attraction to men goes, the strongest sexual currency is currency. Oh. If you yes. want to be an attractive man and you want sexual currency, acquire money. David Tate over here. It's, <laughs> it's, it's true. I mean, I'm attracted to rich men. You're the top. G. At least as far as I could get them to give Where's me money Bugatti? for free. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I, I'm going to a, a gay man's if, wedding if, next if, week. If that's not viable, you know what I mean? Like, if that's like, you know, if you don't have the means to become successful, or it's going to take a while. You could still work on yourself, dog. Like, it's. Yeah. Not, I just hate the. Speaking of gay weddings, oh, yeah. um, my cousin is a gay lady. And she's getting she's getting married. Nice. All right. And uh, and who's wearing Italian. the pants? We're, <laughs> she is. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're Italian. Okay. You have an Italian gay wedding, bro. Yo, that's that's not that's even, gonna be sick. Dude. That's not even the most uh, tension ridden part. Okay. Right. So gay wedding. Right. All right. Already is kind of a, a no no for yeah. Italians. Um, Ciao bella, ciao bella. They're getting <laughs> mad. They're getting married, not in a church, but in a barn. Nice, All right, number nice. two. It is a gay wedding. Red correct. flag. Yeah. And here's the biggest. Here's actually the biggest one. The food is a buffet. I think that's what people are going to be most upset about. That's the true Italian sin. That's the one. A buffet where it's style like, Italian I, I mean, I could get past, you know. <laughs> The barn and the, the two bars. Where's the fucking where's the man I got? What's going on? <laughs> There's lasagna's room temperature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I like the idea of your of your gay cousin receiving lingerie and being like, "No, the wedding registry said linguini." Yes. You misread it. Anyways, strap so on. It's <laughs> sort of a funny. The strap in on head. is a strap penne. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's shaped like a, a noodle. <laughs> a noodle. <laughs> so is she femme or mascarpone? What's what's the third option? I said uh, fem or mask. A pony. Our pony. Oh. Uh, it's a, just another uh. quick little uh, zinger. <laughs> and that's another plug him. for you. Is, uh, zinger dot comedy. Yeah. And uh, plantain zaddy. Yeah. Yes. Plantain zaddy. Is those, my Instagram. those would be the plugs. We just work them into the natural yeah, yeah. flow of the show. I thought yeah, that was yeah. very natural. To anyway, I was talking about zaddies and plantains earlier. <laughs> 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 As I often do. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I, I mean, I won't be going to that. Why not? I just don't want to. I no. don't like weddings in general. Yeah, so. fair. Are you like, is this your, are you afraid of commitment to the point of not going to weddings? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't I know. Don't, I think. You uh, won't even RSVP. <laughs> yeah. Hit a yeah. maybe. You're gaslighting your own. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mind my yeah, I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> I said I'll come if I can bring a plus one. Mm. So, you guys want to come? I'll make a plus two right here. There you go. There we go. I'll gay them. You're in a polyamory yeah, yeah, couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this Brooklyn. is my polycule from Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> we don't fuck. We just riff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is the same thing. Uh, uh, it's pretty close. Uh, fucking riffing have a lot in common. You know I mean? yeah. yeah. You got to be focused. Yeah, yeah. If you're distracted, things will occur. Yeah. yeah. Like, what yeah. are we doing? What's going on? Derailed. <laughs> it's derailed. Hey. Hey. Not even intentional, no, no, though. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's Wasn't go. on purpose. Yeah, that ever happened? You're with a lady, you get derailed. You're like, ah. What's your favorite thing? I at think so. It. It's happened. I think it's happened, but Lost I think our it. definitions might vary on what derailed. Was what was the question? Have you ever been derailed while by you're, a woman? While you're making love. Oh, but no. But in, in life, yes. <laughs> <I'm really> <laughs> 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 yeah, I had this thing happen. <laughs> oh, come on. Who hasn't been derailed by a woman? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's Today like, in Latino history. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, nah, I mean, like, I don't know. I just feel like, uh, what was it? <laughs> I'm not even going to get into this. What is your favorite thing about Italian weddings? Do you have a favorite, like, little moment? 
Ah, uh, the, the arguments. <laughs> <laughs> and there You're will talking be to a Jew and a Latino. That's <laughs> like we're we're in very good territory right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, we're not. Fuck off. No, we're not in good never, territory. You just never fucking listen Jews to any of my fucking bits. definitely have more arguments than Latinos. Well, well. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> we both have okay, more go arguments on, go, than go Italians. Go out to the block at two a.m. and see who's arguing outside. How about we that fucking do it right now, bitch? <laughs> No, that was fun. That was a fun. It was a little meta was for, a, yeah, for you guys know. at home. But see, Jews argue about important things. No, we don't. We're Latinos. <laughs> yeah, they argue about the business and the money. But Latinos, they argue about anything. This stu- this is a great sentence because you somehow became racist and also anti-Semitic. <laughs> <laughs> this is they great. talk about business. What's the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean. Jews just like attention and noise, and yeah. therefore we will argue over any... Try and tell a classic joke around any group of Jews, and one of them would be like, you told it wrong, I'm going to start from the beginning. You actually did it to me the other day. Yeah. Yeah, you're telling it wrong, I'm going to start it from the beginning. That's the worst. Listen, listen carefully, because you're doing it fucking wrong. Yeah, I'm- yeah. Oh, my God. Those are the worst people. Yeah. <laughs> joke, joke correctors. Not... <laughs> no, I'm talking about joke correctors. The, are worst, the worst people. People. <laughs> They take your land. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. They'll uh, the schlongs on them. Yeah, <laughs> the schlomil. Sh- shlo- <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Make it all oh, this, uh, no, no, I mean like I don't know. It's like you ever, you ever get like fed up when people are like specifically in New York City when people are like they're being anti-Semitic. It's like where are we? Right. Yeah. I I also just think anyone who's feels like people are being anti-Semitic towards them needs to take a step back yeah. and realize. You're doing fine. We're especially, fine. Especially in the States. Things like, are okay. Yeah. We're chilling. Yeah. We're, We're relaxed. I, I always reiterate that, that we are in a very important period in time. Where we where can be anti-Semitic. We, <laughs> we get to watch this thing go down. What do you that's mean? A little get way, to? That's a little boy risk. I, I don't it's like that. Yeah. You don't think it's I'm fun? Gonna, no, I'm going to say I don't like it. <laughs> really? That's sad. Um, you don't I think do it's going to that be fun? That's why I enjoy the spoils every chance I get. The, I'm gonna eat the Hagen Dazs at two in the morning. It is, it is, it is in our lifetime, that, that we may dumb. not have that. You know how crazy people are gonna go when they can't get 15 different flavors of Doritos in a store whenever they want. So we're I back. Think on, we're back in the Doritos podcast. You know, <laughs> I think the Dorito, the Frito Lay Corporation is not gonna be happy about it. But I think people are gonna be fine. Ooh, they're gonna be. It's gonna take time. No, I, it's I, not. People adjust really? fast, dude. People are just fast as fast. fuck. To, to, my mom was a refugee. To, to the way of life we have. Yeah, yeah, no, mom, literally look at refugees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My They're, mom was a refugee. Now she complains about the like they don't have the right sauce at her like, right. local Trader Joe's. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And, yeah. Like, and when the, that goes away, what happens? No, I but a, but a, the thing is, when you become a refugee, a week into being yeah. a refugee, you're like, oh you're my god, this is the worst fucking yeah, thing yeah, that could yeah. ever happen to a human. Yeah. A week later, you're like... Oh, hey, we got like one people, more hour of electricity a adjust. day. That's pretty cool. Yeah, people adjust. You adjust. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, not saying it's a good thing. I'm not saying people like, there's should, not inherent PTSD with certain events that happen to you. People but, like, should that lead will be good, like, easy, probably. safe lives. Yeah. But when they don't, they hit a, a level and they moderate around that level. So yeah, if you, you lose know, the haagen you're not killing yourself for the most part. Yeah, yeah. You are. I might. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of them. I'm well, one of most. them. Most. I'll be leading the charge. Yeah, yeah. People, people, <laughs> people are inherently like flexible with like, like ma- they're malleable to the, towards the situation because like you know, if if it means living the next day, people are gonna choose that most times. You know what I mean? Right. So, like so like I don't if like shit hits the fan and we can't choose 15 flavors of ice cream or whatever, like people are gonna be like, well, still got strawberry. You know, like I think people are, people adjust their expectations to what re- whatever reality they're living in. You know what I mean? And sometimes mm-hmm. that's true horrors. But you still have to find joy in that, right? Mm. But and sometimes it's just like the like your mundanity of American life, where you're like, you know, the fucking Doritos flavor. You know what I mean? Like it's mm. you, you get adjusted to whatever you're in pretty quickly. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I do think shit hits the fan in the future, though. Uh, that's just a glimpse into the future. Exciting. Is that shit hits the fan? Well, I'm speaking about specifically is the uh, R. Kelly reunion tour. Oh. Who's it reuniting with? You're the a fifteen fan? year old? Like, no. Are you one of the is, fans is, that the shit, shit is gonna, gonna hit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. It's a, I just it. a peek into the future. Mm. Um, Did you see that he, video of him performing in jail? Yes. <laughs> the best video of him is where he's playing in like Africa? some other country. Yeah, right, yeah, Africa. Yeah. Do you got your shots? Yeah. <laughs> Come if on. R. Kelly is in prison with me, I am failing to perform. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he's performing, but I'm not getting it up. Oh, he'll kill the game. 
<laughs> He'll kill the game. <laughs> oh my god. He's smuggling things in like everyone's ass because they're like, oh shit, it's R. Kelly. It's he R. did Kelly. remix to Ignition. Yeah. I'll put 50 cartons of cigarettes up there, dude. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you were bunkmates with R. Kelly, <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's a good story. That's like Jordan Belfort being locked up with Tommy Chong. Did, what, true? Yeah, Is yeah, this yeah. true? Yeah, yeah. When he got locked up, his cellmate, cellmate was, was Tommy, Tommy Chong. Chong. And he what wrote, was Tommy in for? Probably weed stuff yeah, back in the day. Yeah. Or, no, he told the story on This Is Not Happening. He had, like, a bong, and he got arrested for, like, paraphernalia. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. My God. I'll be Porn surprised if Tommy Chong doesn't have a bong. Right. You'd yeah. be hard-pressed to find him without one. Yeah. Yeah. He's got the first uh, weed card, medical marijuana card ever. He was the first one? The first well, he one. He deserves it. I feel like that could be the next, uh, what's his name, the country singer, Jesse something? Jesse Wells. Jesse Wells. Oh, got my first I heard... Medical. Uh, Tommy Chong got arrested for a bong. Yeah. All these paraphernalia cases gonna make me kill uh, my mom. There you go. That's it. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. That's, his, <laughs> that's my <laughs> approximation. Supposedly he's Asian, but he's always a blazing. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't really tell the difference. <laughs> she shouldn't be allowed in this country. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, All right, boys. Urban in there. Let's All put right. a fucking bow Let's on this motherfucker. Let's put a pen in it. This Hell has yeah. been lovely. This has right, been Smoking Simeon, episode 1169. Where yeah. can people find you guys? You've already plugged it, but do it again. Zinger.comedy, spelled the way it sounds. On Instagram, yes. On Instagram. Plantain Zaddy. We also yeah. have a uh, podcast Instagram. We're doing more. We're doing slower episodes. We're probably going to release once or twice a month now, just when we release, because mm-hmm. the weekly thing was... Kind of hard to do when you're trying to digest literature on a certain level. Yeah, you got to a yeah. book every week. Yeah, so uh, just check that out. It's Gerson and David do homework. Uh, G-A-D-D-H oh. podcast on yeah. Instagram. Also, if this is coming out tomorrow, we have a show next week mm. in Ridgewood. Nice. Um, at 8.30. Beautiful. At uh, Daya Yoga Studios because I could do yoga there and they have a s- studio area. We what can do a show. Is that at? 8.30 on a Thursday, oh, September that, yeah. 5th. Leave your shoes at the door comedy yeah. show in Ridgewood, New York. Yes. And if you want to be gay, three brewing. Three brewing. <laughs> <laughs> you do if you're interested, go to the white, the writing proof. The spoken if you're in- word. interested in sharing space with fellow <laughs> creatives to polish up your bits, help them out. Come down to Three's Brewing. We will make you trans. Uh, yes. We will. That's Tuesdays. actually part of the agenda that we have. And I'll be that's there. Right. I started off as a woman. These guys, <laughs> <laughs> these guys will be there. Thank you all so much for listening. We'll talk to you next week. Peace. Ciao, Bella.